Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys a quick demo on how to do watercolor in Photoshop. The first step to do watercolor in Photoshop is to make a sketch of your drawing. And I've already made my sketch. The brush that I use for making this sketch is called Sketch Brush. This brush is in the textured set, so if you guys haven't downloaded my brush set, I shared it in my last, my previous video, and I will link it on the top. Well, after you've done the sketch, it's time to color. For coloring, there are one important step to do for coloring is to always multiply your layers. Whenever you create a new layer, remember to set the mode to multiply. The reason why we're doing multiply is because when we are coloring in watercolor, for example, color it. Because we're doing watercolor, so when we are creating another layer on the top of this color, the middle part is always going to be darker. So by doing it, by doing multiply layers, it will automatically make the color darker for you like this okay let's just start it to color make sure you put the sketch on the bottom layer I'm just going to separate my sketch with the text okay so we can create a new layer remember to multiply it and the brush we're going to use for color is watercolor one. Since we're drawing a character, let's find a skin tone. All right. Let's just color the whole face. We can purposefully make left some part blank. So when we blend it, we can create those watercolor texture. So for blending brush, we need to switch it to the smudge tool and click blend brush. I usually use the strengths from 25% to 50. You guys can try out different values so to find your ideal strengths. Okay, and let's create a new layer. Remember to use multiply. We want to add more color around the eyes, nose, chin, and I forgot to color the ear, and eyebrows too, under the hair, and we use blend brush again, which is a smudge tool, and just blend the colors out okay now actually I can use the same layer again to just add more color and I'm just going to add darker color around the cheek area because we're going to create blush we're going to draw blush later okay I think it might be a little too much okay let's just do under eyes under the eye area and just do a quick little blending okay that's good we, we create a new layer set it to multiply and find a color for blush And then just blend it out. Okay. 
okay looks nice and let's let's draw some on the nose tip as well all right so now we want to make the eyelids look a little bit darker I'm just gonna do it on the same layer it's totally up to you depends on how you want it so for me I think it's okay to draw them on the same layer so I'll just draw them on the same layer and then blend it do a little blending on the edge Okay, now the mouth, I'm just going to color it with dark brown. Okay, it's not bad. Now I'm going to add another layer of blush on the cheek sorry I forgot to do multiply blend it out and for the glass I'm going to use a brown color like maybe maybe a darker brown okay this color is fine I'm going to create a new layer this is a new layer nope create a new layer Well, for eye, I would like to use a lighter color because the glass is supposed to be darker. Now, let's create another layer. I guess I just use this layer because I created it before um, to draw the hair. The reason why there are some darker colors and lighter colors on the hair is because the pressure of my tablet. Now it's time to blend it. It's okay for make it make exceed the lines a little bit. So it actually would have a more of a watercolor texture yeah that looks nice Okay, I have a trick that I can make the color look better. Okay, let's just finish 
the coloring part first and that will show you guys the trick of how to change color. So for example, we don't like this color. Let's firstly combine this into the same layer. Combine, merge layer. And it's time to use, sorry, multiply it. It's time to use Command U. To just find the right color. I'm always having difficulties for choosing the right color. Oh, I like this color. This is so cute. Yeah, this color will do. Okay. And the scarf, I will just use purple. Since this is a nice purple, so I guess I'll just use this color. Remember to multiply the layer. And I'll just add some purple to this scarf. We can combine some other color, for example, this blue, kind of a gray purple. And I mean, this is not even gray purple, this is just gray. I'm sorry, I meant, yeah, gray. And darker color for this color. Some part here as well. Do some make. The drawing looks more, has more depth and blend it. Okay, after that, we're going to create a layer under the scarf to color the cloth, the jacket. Jacket, I'm going to use blue. Let me, let me see if I can pick a nice blue this time. Okay, this blue, and I'll mix it with purple. And the cloth inside is going to be a gray color. Gray can be any gray. Okay, I guess we're done. If you want a more texture for watercolor, there is this brush called, just the last brush in the watercolor set. There is this brush where you can splash some texture, like, you know, watercolor texture. Um, you can just do this. Okay, there's an, another trick that I want to show you guys. After you're done with your watercolor painting, you can create a new layer. And just find a brush. We can use watercolor brush again. We can just zoom in, I mean make it big and let's choose a very light yellow. Just randomly create some yellow and choose and also pick a blue color. This is nice blue. Okay, and then we can even add some orange. 
Okay. Now what you're gonna do is that uh, you're going to set this layer, the layer where we just added those colors, and you set this layer to to over to soft light overlay or soft light. I forgot. Yeah, soft light, and it creates these nice lights to a drawing. It's just very pretty. I often do it. And then we can use like the chalk brush to add some white dots on the drawing because now it's kind of like only you know those colors but there's no white you don't have to make multiply layer you, you can just and just use the normal layer and the blush as well so maybe on the hair or you can even just use the this the, I think this is called the splash tool just you know create some random white dots on the drawing and it is cute I guess I'm done. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye!